Hey guys, Vladimir here. I've been wanting to do a video on the uh, updates that Fusion did um, for April. Um, well, specifically, I'm going to concentrate on just one of the updates. They introduced a few things, but I wanted to talk about um, the increased functionality now that they've allowed for the Thin Extrude tool. If you recall, back in January, they introduced this uh, new feature called the Thin Extrude, uh, which is just part of the regular Extrude tool, but gives it uh, you know, a, a qu quite a bit more functionality. Um, and that was in January, but now in April, they introduced some uh, new features to it. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's, it's actually going to you know, allow you to be even more creative and more efficient with your um, workflow. So let's jump right in and see what this is all about. All right, so I'm going to create a sketch here on the XY plane. And the basic rule for extrude has been that you need to have a profile, right? Um, so if I create, for example, um, let's start, let's just make a basic shape here with our line tool. And if I start creating some lines, you know, I can't really do much with it until I actually close this off, right? So once I do that, this turns blue and I can select it and I can now actually go ahead and extrude it. And that's in contrast to say, if I start creating some lines here and I don't end up closing it all the way. See, I have a gap here. Um, I can't really do much with it. Well, I can't extrude it at least. Um, so I can select this, I can't select this. And when I click on finish sketch, you can see if I go to create and down to extrude, this automatically gets selected. I can extrude that. But if I want to extrude my um, open shape here, if I grab my extrude tool, you know, I can't select anything. Now there are ways to go around that and you may have seen me use this in the past where I tell you, you can't extrude a line in the uh, solid environment, but you can in the surface environment. So if I change the, these are just the separate tabs here. If I go into a surface and then I go to create extrude, it allows me to choose sketch lines and then I can go ahead and extrude that, click okay. Um, and I have something there. However, there's no thickness. These are only surfaces. So then I'd have to go in, go to create and go to thicken. And I'll hold a control or command here, depending what you're, <laughs> so it's getting, all right, that's not what I want. Let's try that again. I'm gonna, um, so I have to select these faces here. The one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'll enter um, a thickness there. And now I have, you know, this wall. Um, there's a better way to do that now. So let's uh, undo all this and go back to our solid workspace. All you have to do is grab your extrude tool and you'll see this new option here called thin extrude. Now, if I, try to select something here nothing is going to happen you have to first select that thin extrude and now you can see that i'll be able to select this um, the line segment here be careful there because if you noticed here where it, uh, it says profiles it, it has two things selected and i'll show you why it's doing that if i hit e for extrude or select it from my toolbar here it will automatically select the profile that it sees. So it thinks that I want to extrude that profile. So if I go and select thin extrude and then select these sketch lines, and then I drag this up, it's going to want, it thinks I want to select both of those. So one thing you're going to have to do is just X this out, make sure that nothing is selected and then select your lines. But now you can see what happens. It'll go ahead and be able to extrude those sketch lines. So I can simply come in here and give it a uh, wall thickness. I'll go ahead and choose five and I can give it a distance here or just drag this up or type it in here. And there we have it. It's as simple as that. And you have your other options too that are available to you with the regular extrude. For example, uh, taper angle here, I can come in and you can see I can taper that in or out. So, Okay, let's see how we can apply this. I was trying to think of some examples where this can come in handy. Um, for some reason, jewelry keeps coming to mind. I think it's just because like a lot of jewelry can just be like these sketch lines that you can make and you can extrude them. So let me create a new sketch here and I'll create a, just a quick example here. Um, let me grab my line tool 
And I currently have um, snap to my grid here uh, checked. So if you go to grid and snap settings, you see that's a snap to grid. That's going to allow me to quickly just make this shape. So I'm just going to kind of come in and trace my grid here. I'm going to, I think I've seen something like this before. So uh, I'm just going to create this shape, just kind of going around. And let's say, okay, like you have a pair of earrings, right? I think I've, I've seen earrings like this. And um, so if I want have something like this and I want to be able to extrude it, um, you would have to go in and do a offset. So I'll choose my offset tool, select your sketch line and do like a one millimeter offset. Let's say you want this to be two millimeters in thickness. So you would do one millimeter and offset, uh, re right click, repeat offset. Now you can't um, offset an offset. It won't let you. So you have to go back to that original line and then you would do like a negative one and you get the offset in the other direction. Now we still don't have a sketch profile, so we have to close this out. So we'll connect these two lines here and then we have to connect these two lines over here. And now we get this. You can see that it's shaded blue, so we can select it. Um, I'll go ahead and select this center line double click to select that entire chain hit x on my keyboard that'll make it a construction line and allow me to actually select this whole thing um, with one click um, let's say we want a little loop up here to be able to hang the earring so i'll just create a um, just a square here and i'll use my midpoint constraint to constrain this bottom edge to this line here and then we're going to have to come in with another off offset here um, click on this let me do like a two millimeter offset there we have it okay we're finally ready um, to extrude right so now we can go finish sketch e4 extrude we can select these two or these profiles here and then let's say we want to go up five millimeters and then we have this ready to 3d print okay now let's compare that workflow to what we can do now so i'm going to create um let's create a new sketch here I'll do the XY plane. We'll just kind of move over here. And I'll go ahead and create that same shape. Grab my line tool. Okay, there's that shape. I'll create my box over here. And let's go ahead and do the same thing where I constrain that midpoint of this line to this line here. And okay, now that I have my sketch line, I don't have to worry about all that offset business to get a, pro a close profile. I'm simply gonna go finish sketch, E for extrude, select thin extrude. Let me deselect everything by clicking on this X because it thinks I wanna uh, extrude that profile there. And all I have to do is just one, two clicks. Let me give it a wall thickness of two millimeters and a distance of five. There we have it, you know, we quickly see we have our shape so really quick way um, you know to go ahead and create something like this without having to worry about the offsets now one thing I'll show you here um, if you take a look you have the option notice how the blue line goes on the outside um, of that line so if you go here where wall location is you can choose whether you want basically it's either the outside or the inside you can change that most of the times you're gonna want to go with that center option because it'll throw the line in the middle and add material to both sides of it. So click OK, and there we have it. Um, and we can quickly amend this. So just by amending that sketch, if I just bring that sketch into view, let's untoggle bodies. Let's say this is too high. Let me bring that down a little bit and then bring the bodies back into view. You can see how that updated. Um, Okay, so just really quick way to go ahead and, and um, extrude and create um, 3D bodies without having to worry about um, creating closed profiles. Um, and you can quickly see how powerful this can be and, and how you can apply it. I mean, this is a you know just a simple example with jewelry, but there's plenty of times where I just need that shape and it's like, oh, I wish I could just extrude this. And, and now you can without having to create extra lines and using the offset tool and uh, closing your profile so you can extrude them and without having to go you know, to the surface environment um, to do it that way as well.
Now, the other option is you do have your pipe tool and you may have seen me use that uh, as well when I need to just um, extrude a profile, but that also comes with its limitations. So I'm really excited about this new extrude tool. You'll see me use it a lot more in my designs. Um, so go ahead and play around with it. I think you're gonna love how it's gonna make your designs even more efficient. All right, that's all I wanted to throw at you today and I'll be back in a few days or a week or two it won't be more than a week um with a uh, a design a more creative design that we'll we'll make um but yeah play around with this uh let me know what you think in the comments and uh i'll see you in a few